Hi first graders, it's so nice to see you all again. Today, before we start our reading workshop job, I would like to jump in and do some phonics review together. And the last time we were together doing some phonics, we were working on vowel teams. And we had that huge vowel team chart going. And we've been talking about the jobs that vowel teams do. And how usually, most of the time, those vowel teams follow the rules that we've been learning. Today I want to take a look at one vowel team that I know we did all talk about, and that vowel team is E-A. So, if you know what E-A says, shout it out to me. Yes, you're right. E-A says E. Now, if you know a word that has E-A in it, I want you to shout it out to me. Ready? One, two, three. I love it, so many great EA words I was hearing from you. Now, I want to show you a list of a few EA words I came up with for us to practice together. So let's look here. All right, so here you can see my EA, and I know that EA says E. So let's look at this first word here, I have eat, eat, s, eat, seat, m, mm, eat, meat, ch, eat, cheat, Trrr, eat, treat. So you can see we have some snap words like eat, but then we also threw in some tricky blends down here, TR, and even a digraph, that's CH there. So this time I'm going to read the words with you, but then I'm going to have you try it on your own after that. So here we go, all together reading with me. Ready? Eat, seat, meet, cheat, treat. All right, this time. I'm not reading the words. I'm just going to point and you're going to read them to me. Here we go. That was excellent. Give your brain a big old kiss. Way to go. All right, so for this last time, we're going to read them all together. Ready? Eat, seat, meet, cheat, treat. And I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to put a box around the EA in each of those words. And one more time, I want you to tell me, what does E-A say? Yes, E, you guys are so smart. All right, let's get on with our reading workshop job for today. So you've been doing lots of things in reading workshop. You've been talking about those reading adventures, sneak peeking, keeping track of where and when, predicting what might happen next, and retelling the important parts of your book, even marking the pages to help you keep track as you go. So today, boys and girls, we're going to do something fun. I want you to look around the room you're in right now. Just look around. See what you notice about that room. So take a second. Look around the room you're in. What are some things you notice about the room you're in right now? Tell me. Awesome. So now, this time, I want you to look around the room you're in, but I want you to use different eyes, new eyes. So you're looking around the same room, but you're seeing what else can you notice that you didn't notice before. So using those new eyes to notice something new. Look around the room again. Hmm. What's something new you noticed? Maybe there's a ceiling fan you didn't notice before, or a decoration you never noticed before, or a picture. There's all kinds of things in the rooms around us, aren't there? So, what does this have to do with reading workshop? Well, it's actually pretty exciting, boys and girls. So, today I want to teach you that readers know they can go back to the same page in a book, to the same reading adventure, and the same place in that book. So same place, same page, same reading adventure, and notice something new. So readers reread to notice more. So if you think about yesterday, you heard the first three chapters of our Iris and Walter goes on, go on a field trip book. And in that story, you were seeing the pictures, you were hearing the words, you were getting to know what was going on in the reading adventure. Today, I wanna to take you back and I wanna revisit chapter three, Where's Walter? And as we're reading it, I want you to think about what are you noticing that you didn't notice the first time you heard it? Let's look together, here we go. So Iris and Walter in the field trip. Chapter three, I said, so let me find it here in my book. There it is, where's Walter? When the bus pulled up in front of the aquarium, Iris looked at all the people. Hey, Walter said, Benny, that boy is wearing a shirt just like yours. 
He is, said Walter. So this time, boys and girls, what's something you noticed that you didn't notice the first time? I'm going to notice here that the only friend's shirt that stands out in this picture, in this crowd of friends, is the one of the boy whose shirt looks like Walter. Hmm, I wonder if that's trying to help us figure out that Walter's going to get lost later in this chapter. Let's keep reading. Now, children, it's very crowded here, so keep your eyes on me, said Miss Cherry. The children walked down a dark hallway. Everywhere they looked, there were fish. Ooh, they whispered. Now look closely. What do you notice? Now when I look here, I can see here, she's holding on to her mom really tight. Now, hmm, I'm noticing that. I didn't notice that the first time we heard the story. I'm wondering, could it be because it's crowded? Could it be because maybe it's dark in this part of the aquarium? I'm noticing more as we're reading. Sharks, said Benny. They look mean, said Iris. While the children were looking at the sharks, Miss Cherry and Jenny's mother counted everyone. Okay, follow me, said Miss Cherry. They came to the coral reef. Wow, said Iris and Benny. Walter could not say a word. He watched the angelfish swim and shimmer, the hermit crab scurry, and the seagrass sway. Walter had never seen anything as wonderful as the coral reef. So you might be noticing some things that you didn't notice before. If you are, go ahead and share them out with me. Are we going to see the penguins soon, asked Iris. That's our next stop, said Miss Cherry, and she counted everyone again. Off we go, said Miss Cherry. They walked past the starfish. They walked past the seahorses. Oh, look, there are penguins, said Iris, taking Walter's hand. Don't you think they are cute, Walter? But Walter didn't answer. So something I noticed here that I didn't notice before was if I look in the line of the class over here with Miss Cherry, I don't see Walter. And when I look over here in this picture of Iris holding Walter's hand, or who we think is Walter's hand, we didn't really ever see that Walter was actually in line with them. I didn't notice that before. So, boys and girls, you can see that just by reading a few pages of chapter three again, we were able to notice some different things that we didn't notice before. At the very beginning of the chapter, they kind of gave us a clue with the showing us the little boy shirt that looks like Walter's, kind of gave us a clue that maybe them pointing that out was setting it up for us so that we could see that Walter would be the friend that would get lost. We see the little girl holding on to her mom, and we try to figure out maybe why when we notice that. Is it because it's crowded? The teacher just said to stay close by. Is it because it's dark in the aquarium? We also notice on that page in line that Walter wasn't in the class's line. And then the next page, we do see Iris holding who we think is Walter's hand, but we can't see the rest of the little boy to know for sure if it's Walter. So just by rereading, boys and girls, you can notice more on your reading adventure and really help you to understand that story and really enjoy the reading adventure you're going on. Now, something that happens when you're rereading to notice more. So let's uncover that on our chart. Reread to notice more. Now, something that happens, oh, there it is, so you can see it. Something that happens when you reread to notice more, not only are you noticing more about your story, but you start to wonder more. Hmm, why are they showing me this? I wonder what's going to happen. Your brain starts to come up with all these wonderful questions. And that's great. As you're reading, it's good to stop and think about those questions. If you have post-its or some kind of little paper and you want to jot those questions down while you're reading, that's awesome too, boys and girls. So, Today, our job was to talk about how rereading as a reader can help you go on your reading adventure and enjoy it even more. Help you notice things that you didn't notice the first time you read your book. Happy reading, first graders! <laughs>